morning, everybody. Buenos Good dias. Morning. My name is Pepsi. Yeah, I'm geek. This, this past weekend, um, it turned out to be a great successful cake show. Uh, I'm hoping that they do it again next year. If not, for sure, 2020, for sure, for sure. And you have to submit. Uh, Laura's daughter submitted a cake. She got first place in the junior competition. And then she got um, Selector's Choice, which is like an, an extra award. So that was really, really cool. Um, my friend Angelica from Red Flower Creations, she got first place. Angelica, we finally convinced her she's gonna come and do a demo. Not sure when, but she's gonna come and do a demo. Um, her show's starting on Friday. It's going to air on Friday. The show that she competes in in Sugar Rush on Netflix. So make sure you guys watch that so that that show keeps going. Hello. Um, let's see. Who else? Unforgettable Art, Anna. She submitted these awesome cake pops. They were like the Gremlins, Chucky. Um, shoot. Like a bunch of like 80 characters. She's gonna come and do a demo also in next month. So we have her come in. And then we have Dani. The one Dani did the candy apple. She did three candy apple classes. They all sold out at the cake bar show. And we got her. She's gonna come and do a free demo in two weeks on the 25th. Um, Autocorrect. Hmm, what did I do? What did I say wrong? Did I say something wrong? <laughs> I don't know. It says autocorrect, so I'm not sure. Okay. So now, um, I, I've gotten wind that the calendar is a tad bit confusing for some people because it's a brand new thing and they overloaded classes, which is pretty cool because a lot of students can't come in the mornings, they can come in the evenings. So if you just look up here, it says July 2018, and right underneath the 18, it says morning classes, mm -hmm. and then on the back side, it'll say afternoon classes, okay? Perfect. So um, one side is in the evening and one side's in the morning. Just make sure you look to see what class you're interested in. And the instructors, um, some classes are being offered twice without the month, and there's two different instructors. We have, you know, Laura, and then we also have Ivory, okay? Ivory is now full-time here, and she's gonna be um, giving a lot of classes also, okay? So just look at that. August calendar should be coming out shortly. I know the instructors here, my, my section's done, so I don't have to get on that on myself, but the instructors are, I know, have been working really hard to try to get the calendar out within a week or two, okay? Um, then, I don't know if you guys have seen, we also now have Alex working here. So he's, um, you're not gonna see him much here, but he's here at our store, and we have Rosa, the boss lady. Boss lady's in the house. Okay, so let's move forward. Okay, there's a million ways of making cheesecake, right? Thousands of ways. I'm just going to do a simple method, which is a quick and easy. It is time consuming because it does have to bake, which I just remembered, preheat my oven. Um, it does have to bake for 40 minutes, but it's, um, it's an easy way of doing this cheesecake. ¿Usted habla inglés? ¿Me entiende? Si no me entiende, me dice, yo le hablo en español. ¿Usted también? Okay. Just in case, if you don't get it, just let me know and I'll be like, right? just stare at me. <laughs> no Spanish? You don't? Yeah, you do. I know this weekend somebody said something to me and I'm like, I don't speak Spanish. Just, just to get out of it. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Okay, so I'm going to do... First things first is the crumbs. And I didn't get a bowl. Okay, the crumb for the cheese, uh, the, the um, graham cracker crumb. I wear gloves because it gets yucky. Hey, you, shoo, shoo. Okay, the crust is gonna do, for one recipe, it's a cup and a half of graham crackers. That, hi, how are you? That we do sell here, the bags, and if you could see, they're leaning right there. They're like 250 for, um, for three cups, okay? So you get two batches out of one bag, okay? So I'm gonna do two batches, because I wanna do a cheesecake and I wanna do some cup, cheese cups, whatever, they're called cheese bites, what have you. So I'm gonna do a little more than, than I should, okay? <clears throat> then butter, it's 
a third cup. So two thirds cup because I'm doing two batches. How are you? I'm tired. Tired. Yeah. I haven't had a day off. No. Sí, pero yo te lo digo. En al ratito dame un chance y te. I'm sorry, what? Are your graham cracker crumbs like the standard graham cracker? Um, honestly, I don't know, but these graham cracker crumbs are very fine, so you won't get those big chunks. Right. Um, and they are a little more golden than, um, yeah. So I'm just, I just, the, I'm adding moisture into the crust so that I can shape it. Okay, and then I'm doing it with the butter. Okay, then I'm going to add five tablespoons of sugar. So I'm doubling it, which is 10 tablespoons. And that turns into like a fourth cup or something or other, but I didn't measure it. I like math, but I don't like it that much. <laughs> okay, just like my husband. I like my husband, but I don't like him that much. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. Because <laughs> sometimes I come home from the demos and he'll be like, <clears throat> I heard you. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's TV. <laughs> I'll make it good. Just, just, you know. Mm -hmm. He's like, that's what you say when the paycheck comes in, right? <laughs> okay, so now we add the sugar and just continue mixing. Manda? Manda? El graham cracker sí, pero le tienes que aumentar la mantequilla para agarrar la humedad y el azúcar sí para darle un poquito de. No, no, pero sí que ya venden las chavitas. Oh, sí, pero no for cheesecake, those are for, um, for fruit tarts. Oh, de veras que sí, ha. They do. They do, they do. I'll bring some right now if somebody comes and helps me. Sabe, you know, hi, how are you? Um, I, I, when I went to school, they always told us, you, you can do it the easy way, buy the stuff already made, but then what happens to us bakers that like to procrastinate and work really late at night and you run out of something? What are you gonna do, wait till the next, till the next day that the store opens? You gotta figure it out. Uh -huh. So that's why it's good to know. Okay, so the graham crackers are done. I'm just gonna fill these pans. We have these um, pie pans that we sell here. I'm gonna fill it. Now what I wanna do is press. Let me move these. And my, is the mixer in the way I can move it for a little bit? And I don't want it too thin, so I don't wanna see the pan through. I want it to be covered in this um, in the graham cracker crust, and I usually just go from the center and push out because it'll start going up. <clears throat> okay, if you have leftovers of this, you want to put it in an airtight container and then just store it. Okay, remind you, remember it is butter. There's butter in here, so if you put it in the refrigerator, it's gonna be like. You're gonna have to bring it down before you use it again, okay? Okay, so I just play it in the middle, and I want it to go all the way up. I, kind of, I don't want it to cover here, because we do sell the lids for these, and I believe the lids go right here, don't they? I've never covered cheesecake. Okay. Um, these are also, this recipe is also really good for you to do if you're going to do like the, um, the, the cheesecake bites um, or like um, cupcakes with cheesecakes on top, something like that. This is really simple because it's simple and it doesn't consist of a lot of ingredients. So your, your, your taste buds are not going to fight with the cupcake taste buds, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. This is my language. Okay, so I just want it to be all the way to the top. And uh, the only reason I'm putting my finger here is so that the crust doesn't go over. Okay. 
So let me think. What are we in? We are in, what month are we in? July. August. There's nothing that I can think of. September, there's going to be a show at the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, it's an offspring from the LA Cookie Con, and it's called something Sweet Show. I'm not too sure on the name. And so it's Pastor, what's the difference between the Cookie Show and the one that you guys did this week? Each one is, um, is organized by a different organization. So the one from this weekend was Joyce and Cass. Cass is, um, shoot, I don't, I can't think of her business name, but she's stationed in, in um, Texas. And then Joyce is, you, have you met Joyce? She comes here a lot, no? No? She was, she was here a couple of weeks ago. She did the steak. Oh. Um, those two ladies are cake artists. So then they brought on a cake show, okay? Um, the cookie sh show is, I'm not, honestly, I don't know the man that makes the show. I don't know his back history, but it really just depends on the person that puts the show on, which will bring in different vendors. So um, Cass and Joyce, I really, looks like to me that they brought, they wanted to focus on cake organizations. So um, a lot of the things they made were, specifically for, or their booths were specific. They had a fondant booth, they had icing images, they had um, sugary essentials where were molds. We were there. Um, Fantasia fondant, Archon Mounts, which is the stands. Um, who else was there? Sprinkles, Sprinkle Pop. They do those uh, crazy sprinkle mixes. They were there. So it was geared for cake artists. And then Cookie Con is a little more geared for any baker any bigger cookies cupcakes industrial not industrial so it just depends on the person and they started very small too, joyce the this one no 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 the cookie con mm -hmm. was started in pomona in one pasadena yeah it was just the one of those buildings right the second one because that's where i saw it yeah yeah um it was very very small i mean really small yeah I, I've been to all of them that they've done, and they're pretty interesting. Like, I go because a lot of people, I do demos, so I'll be doing demos in September, and I think I'm going to have a booth, and I'll probably be selling cupcakes with Laura. Laura and I are teaming up. That's the talk. I don't, it's not, not set in stone. We haven't signed anything. It's just, it's, it's up in the air. Um, and then I will be teaching in Georgia, at the cake show in Georgia. That's in November. And I'm trying to convince this lady that I know in the back, she doesn't want to appear to let's go to cake and bake in Mexico. <laughs> she still hasn't heard me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in the oven for about four minutes, just for it to crust up a little. And then I'm going to set it aside. Are we going? Who's that? I'm oh, in about an hour. An hour? Okay, I know. The yeah. Laura, yeah. Is she coming? Who? Laura? So three. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, let me grab these because I forgot. Or did I have them at home? <clears throat> if you want to do individual cheesecakes, we have these. Okay. Um, which are pretty cool because especially if you're going to have like a baby shower or something, just do a bunch of these and, um, and you're done. Same thing, fill it up with crust, but this is faster and quicker because it's just a little bit. And I would say like a half a cup to a cup of crust inside one of these. Okay, I'm not going to be off like I was the other one, I'm just going to hurry up. Because I want to do the cheese. <laughs> okay, well, you get the idea. Um, all right, so now let's move on to the cheese part. Thank God that that's not metal. Okay, I'm going to do it in the mixer, but you can also do it in a blender. Okay, you can do, I'm going to do the hand mixer <clears throat> only because it's open and so you guys can see. 
get out of this camera. I don't like being in the camera. Okay. I'm doing two batches again, so just remember that. So for one batch is one pound of cream cheese, which, um, so I'm doing two pounds, <coughs> two pounds. God, my voice. I have not slept in two weeks, so I've been living off of um, breaks. And, and Terry, I submitted a cake at the OC Fair. Which is not a yay because I did not sleep. <laughs> oh, okay. on the 21st. What day is that? That's a Saturday. A Saturday? Uh -huh. okay. I was going to go Friday, this Friday, but um, I couldn't have to go. Okay, so the cream cheese has to be room temperature, which is another reason why I haven't slept. Um, it has to be at room temperature, so I'm going to mix it. It is. I brought it down to temperature. Um, we do sell cream cheese here, and I think they're going to start packaging it because it's like a big block, and I don't think you guys want that much. Unless you're, like, making cheesecake for your whole city, but, you know, just for, like, a party, you don't need that much. Um, so they're going to be packaging them. So now I'm going to soften the cream cheese. And then it's one cup of, oh, I got ground cracker in here. One cup of sugar for two batches. So for one batch is half a cup. And I don't know if you noticed, but I have my eggs in warm water because I want it to be room temperature eggs. Okay, you don't ever want to like mix the temperatures. It's chemistry. We're chemists, you know, like the white coat, supposedly. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna slowly add the sugar. Mix. It's only four ingredients, which is why um, I said this one's easy. Because there's a lot out there. There's so many cheesecakes out there. There's the Japanese cheesecakes, the, the, um, the other ones. You add milk, you add this, all kinds of stuff. This one's just four ingredients, which is cheese, sugar, eggs, and a little bit of vanilla. Done. And I'm forgetting about my crust. What makes a New York cheesecake I don't, expensive? I'm not sure. And <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't like cheesecake. <laughs> I'm not a cheesecake person. So I never really cared to look into it. However, because of the demo, I did look into some stuff. And um, there's cheesecake. You can bake it. It'll look beautiful. And then when it comes out the oven, you let it sit, you let it rest, and then it'll have cracks and it'll sink. That is due to overmixing, not cooling properly, and or... Um, it wasn't baked completely. Okay. So it's cheesecake is pretty much like a custard. Um, the eggs are what make it firm, I guess. And um, so you have to bake it. And what I've read is you bake it. Well, this one you bake for 40 minutes. And then you have to leave it in the oven for 40 minutes, another hour off the oven off and the door closed that's a method or um depending on the recipe also um let it sit on a net until it's completely chill and then put it into the refrigerator or freezer because you're supposed to freeze it for also for three hours or what have you <clears throat> so oh, i just cracked it Cracked my egg. I'm trying to be nice and stuff. See what happens. <laughs> oh shit! This one's gonna be cold. Um. So, I'm just running it in warm water. Um. So cheesecake. There's like all kinds of stuff. And then the, the cracks. Usually, you get if you bake a cheesecake at home, you, you tend to get a little crack here and there. You can't really do anything about that. Um, can't you cover it with like a towel? Oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. 
It cracked. It showed. It, it cracked. cracked. Yeah. And so I said, okay, and now it's a raspberry cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Or with um. Or with um whipped cream. I always mix my eggs before I put them into my batters. Um, this is just the way I learned in school. So I'm doing it here. Once you, you have a bad habit, you can't let it go. Mm -hmm. I have my bad habit is just in biting my nails. So I'm gonna add it slowly so that it mixes in nicely together. And I also have to scrape the sides of the, of the wall so that I can get all the cheese. Because cheese gets stuck everywhere. It's like, ugh. And you don't want to do it on high because you don't want to incorporate a lot of air. And you always want to use a paddle because whip is adding too much air. Does that make sense? See, we're chemists. We should be doctors. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we don't sleep. Yeah. Just like doctors. Real doctors. Doctors like, not real doctors, but doctors like at the, in the ER. Okay. Grey's Anatomy doctors don't sleep because they're always on TV. <laughs> Shiny? No. I haven't mastered this one yet, so you guys are going to learn with me. And then I'm going to just add the vanilla. The vanilla, it's uh, half a teaspoon for one batch, so a whole teaspoon. Oops, well, a little less than that, but... And I just want to make sure that everything's incorporated. I do see lumps and I don't like that. Um, and that could be because the cheesecake was not all the way room temperature. Because that's what causes lumps is the temperature in the cheesecake. The cream cheese? Yeah, cream cheese, sorry. <laughs> speak English, speak English. Yeah, you see the lumps? Um, but I don't want to keep adding air into this, so I'm just going to have to let it go. You know, at home when I'm working and I see, I just don't stop. I just, and my kids are always like, that's enough. So that will bother me. But, oh well. <laughs> Too bad. Okay. Done. I'm going to set this aside. Well, I'm going to fill the, the, the big one. And then I want to show you guys how to do the bites. What did I do with the crust over here? So this guy has to sit in the oven for 40 minutes. Okay? But you're not going to see it for 40 minutes. I have one made already. Because this is TV. <laughs> so, so you tell me if it comes out good. Okay, cheesecake does not, is not like a cake. It's not gonna go overboard like cake normally does. So I'm gonna fill it, it might, it's gonna rise a little, but it's not gonna rise a lot, it's not gonna overload. So I'm gonna fill it, but I wanna fill it to where I still see the edge of the crust. You see the lumps? Yeah. yeah. Oh well, you don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please um, fluffer those out in the TV? <laughs> <laughs> but I did take the cream cheese out this morning from here, so I didn't. I, it's not temperature. The one from home, I let it out all day. Okay. And um, you could do this with the, with the um, offset spatula because it will have its shape. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, done. 
Let me move this down. And I'm going to hit my face again. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven for 40 minutes. Temperature, 320. Okay, low temperature for cream cheese, um, cheesecake. Low temperature. And in the perfect world, Baño Maria. Okay. The reason why Baño Maria is because the water will never go past 110 degrees, I believe, at boiling peak, and it'll never go past that. So therefore, it'll bake your cake, your cake evenly. And um, oven goes to the temperature we set it. So we are messing with, with temperatures, okay? So now for the fun stuff. Duh, in my face. Um, I'm gonna make some cheesecake bites. If I find my cupcake liners. Oh, there's some over there. Um, what do you call it? Okay. Just line the pan with the. So I'm going to do two different ones. I'm just going to do the regular cheesecake line, the cheesecake <coughs> bite, and then I'm going to do Oreo. So, Question. talk. Would you still put the rice underneath that? Yeah, you can. Because of the creaminess of Do you, the ha you guys know about the rice? No? It's ain't Chinese to you? What the? <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> have you ever baked a cupcake and then the bottom of the paper looks really greasy? Okay, the rice, you put white rice in here, jasmine rice, whatever have you, inside the pan, then the paper over the rice, and the rice will soak up the moisture, okay? Um, and it'll, then your paper will look nice and pretty. It worked for you, right? Yeah, it works perfect. So I would, because <clears throat> the crust has sugar. So yeah, I would, but today I'm not. So, followed by example, not by. <laughs> so just, Put how much crust on the bottom you wish. And you do want it to be um, a good thickness. Let me take it out so you guys can see, like a good thickness. Because a lot of people like the crust. Do you guys like the crust? I like the crust. I don't like the cheesecake, but I like the crust. <laughs> and then press it nice and firmly. I'm only going to do six of these like this. The rest I'm going to do the Oreo status. Okay. Um, I'm not really measuring, I'm just using this to transport this because um, I didn't want that to happen. And then I believe, are the Oreos still on si sale? They are up here. Yeah, they are. They are still on sale, so they're on sale right now, so that'll work. I, don't, I didn't look into the prices, I just came okay I'm um, getting a question how many eggs and water for one batch it was two eggs no water the water was just to bring down my eggs to room temperature okay and then the other six I'm gonna put Oreos as my crust okay so Oreo this one's cracked so I'm gonna put the crack up oh, I hate working with gloves <laughs> They make my hands feel funny. Okay. So this one's cracked, so I'm going to put it crack up. And then, did you just think of something? Oh, what happened? No, I'm sorry. Oh. I wish my daughter was here. Oh, she can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the ice cream scooper. The best one is the bigger one. This one's kind of too small. So I'll just use two. And then on top. Now, when you do this, remember, if you do like I'm doing half-half, just remember what size your Oreo. Because last night I was doing it at my home, and I was like, uh. So, because um, we're going to put Oreos on top. And you don't want to put Oreos on top of the other ones, because the other ones are supposed to be a different flavor, blah, blah, blah. But then, whatever. <laughs> I just caught myself. And you do want to fill these up. 
a nice high. So that they go up as so you could see them. Like that, that one. Okay, oh that one and that one are too little. You need more, but I'll come back. I'm just gonna fill all of them, at least one scoop. If I would have done only one batch, I would have had enough for cheesecake and made and two little ones, and that's it. Okay, it doesn't give you a lot. Okay, and I'm going to put these in the oven, then I'm going to take a little break so I can clean my area and then bust out the ones that are already done and show you how to decorate them real quick, okay? But just warning you guys. So I'm going to fill these up a little more because I do want it to be fairly full complete, or completely full. And it won't overflow? No, they don't, they don't, they don't, um, they'll rise a little, but they won't. Yeah. So will I see you guys at the next cake show competing? <laughs> no, maybe? Come on, Terry, you got this. Big chunks. I got, that's the one I got first place. Oh, I didn't see. Do they all look full to you guys? Yes. Okay, so, alrighty. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and just like a cake, you want them to be firm and the toothpick to come out dry, just like um, a regular cake, all right? So I'm gonna take a quick break so I can clean my area and then get back to what have you. I'm not turning you guys back to this one.
so now these came out of the oven. <laughs> and they're chilled. <laughs> TV magic. Ta-da. Okay. So I did whip the pastry pride before um, you guys got here. So, you know, you don't have to sit here and listen to the mixer all the time. Um, and I'm just going to put it in a piping bag. Did you make it or? It's, it's soft peak. Like, it's... It doesn't fall. Whee! Watch it fall. Okay. And I have a tip 824, a Teco, but you could use a 1M, Wilton, anything big star. Um, this is just what I found. And then the already ready to use strawberry um, topper that we sell here. And I didn't watch the budget. So this guy is 639 and it's two pounds. And that guy, you can use, do so much with this thing. You can mix the strawberry topper into the whipped cream and then get like a strawberry shortcake type thing. Um, and then top that with this. You can even use that as a filling. Uh, you can put it on top of a pie. Ugh. This is, um, it, it, it saves a lot of time. Okay, now I can either plop it on here or try to make it all cute. I'm gonna plop it. <laughs> I'm gonna plop it. Okay. Um, this is kind of like what they use at, uh, what is it? Marie Callender's, is it? The, or Cheesecake Factory, whatever. It's the same stuff they, they put on top. I don't know what brand they use, but this is what it looks like. Except that they do put real, a few real strawberries on top, on top to make it look pretty. all pretty. Yeah. yeah, and then just cover them with piping gel. So I can leave it like this and ta da, you're married, you know, take what you want. Put a whipped cream on it. This one, if I don't want to put strawberries, just put some rosettes. And squeeze one in there. If I want to put strawberries in there, I don't. I I I don't want to do anything. <laughs> you know, whatever. On the Oreos, if this was like an Oreo one, I would crumble Oreos and put them on top. I could also. I forgot to put Oreos on top of the. <laughs> the oh. <cheese>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just remembered. I was gonna put them on top and bake yeah. them with it. No, I wasn't. Yeah. But yeah, I was. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> but you can crumble them after and put them on top. This too, I'm gonna cover it completely. And the good stuff about this, it's a preserve. So um, you can store it at room temperature. It doesn't go bad. And there's real strawberries in here, if you guys, let me, a big chunk, if you could see it. There's real strawberries in here, and it's not too sweet. Have you guys tried this? No? Yeah. You've tried it? I'm going to, I'm going to, well, I'll cut it. I'll cut the cheesecake. And then um, you can also mix some fruto. Remember the fruto? into the cheesecake and bake the cheesecake with the fruto. I don't want to put too much. Um, and then it'll be a flavored cheesecake. Um, just make sure you don't over mix your cheese and um, you chill properly okay, in the oven for an hour. Let me let this guy fart. Sometimes I'm scared it'll fly at me. Oh, well, too bad. I'm just gonna put a border just to cover the, the pan from the crust so it looks prettier, I guess. There.
And this is done. And this is a good Thanksgiving. Ugh. <laughs> in my cowl. In my. I could put a little one in the center, huh? I could put one in the center. Anything else? You guys have any questions? You guys want to taste it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she spoke. <laughs> And I was baking them last night at home, and my daughter was like, are you taking those? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. She's like, mm. she got mad. Oh, well, too bad. I am done. That was not cute. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da. Ta-da. No questioning, no questions. I can't see. OK, done. Let me turn these off. <laughs> I, I like these for like a baby shower. I always think baby shower. Or like um, those, what are the tea parties? Mm. Tea. Yeah, tea cake. Tea cake? When you said bites, you're calling the cupcakes bites? Yeah. Those bites. Well, this one you can cut into bites. But those are, the mini, the mini, yeah. Mini, 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 mini ones. So what I would do is these, I would cut them in fours, oh, okay. and then put them on a, on a cupcake on um, those cups, yeah. And do that. Okay, if they don't come out good, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me. Just, just, just run away. Um. I guess we can use these. Do you want to take a picture before we chop into it, Alan? Oh, yeah, bye. <laughs> what happened to my little blue red? Oh, it's got to. 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 It